Hi everyone, today we're going to look at how I set up my teacher planner in this gorgeous cactus print planner. Today I'm going to set up my Erin Condren teacher planner for 20... 20 and 2021 I have my uh, yearly schedule on this clipboard I have my planner from last year that I can use for reference and I'm going to install all of this in my teacher planner so the first thing I'm going to do I like to cut the stickers out of the back because I like to have them spread out instead of having to flip back and forth. So I'm just going to rip the sticker pages out of the back and trim the raggedy edge off. And then I keep them in the pocket that comes in the back of the planner. So this is where I messed up. I put the pen loop on the pocket plastic instead of on the back cover. And so then I peeled it off and I was able to clean the pocket off with rubbing alcohol, but all the stickiness of the pen loop had been left on the pocket. So I ended up just having to order a new one. So watch and learn kids don't make that mistake this is where I set up my year plan I have a code that I use for student and teacher holidays teacher work days and then bad weather days because we account for two bad weather days in our schedule but if the weather isn't bad enough that we need to take them then we get them in the springtime And at this point, I'm using the Zebra Mild Liners, um, the, brush, the brush Mild Liners, to highlight things that are going to be more than just a day. Like that, what you just saw there was our teacher in service before school started, Thanksgiving, all of that. Um, so that I don't, I only put stickers on the first and the last part of the week. Here's my completed year at a glance, so I can tell when I have a holiday and when I'm in prof professional development. At this point, what I'm doing is using the monthly stickers that came in the monthly kit that I talked about in my haul video. And I'm whiting out the months as they are on the year plan because that starts in January, but my planner starts in August. And then I'm replacing those with the correct monthly sticker. Someday I'll be organized enough to just like print something out so I won't have to buy it. But I do enjoy uh, the monthly packet of stickers and using them throughout the course of the year. And here I'm just using a pair of cheap cosmetic tweezers to place the stickers. They aren't fancy craft tweezers. At this point, I'm just going through and putting in the holiday stickers that I actually observe. This kit is really cool because, or this planner is really cool. It comes with holiday stickers and it, there's just a huge variety of holiday stickers and you just place the ones that you actually need. So I don't really have that many holidays that I observe. And also there's extra ones, so if there's some sort of a holiday that you do observe that isn't pre-printed, you could just write it on there. I'm going through and just marking in like progress report days, uh, half days that we have half days, holidays, 
work days, that kind of thing, throughout the course of the whole year, all the way up to graduation in May. stop there last year I used clear return address labels to label each of these columns this year I'm not exactly sure what my preps are I technically have three but because we have first and eighth every day but the other classes we have on the block I'm not sure exactly what this is going to look like this is what it looked like last year um, where I had first and eighth on one, but this year first and eighth are completely different classes, so I can't do that this year. And then this is just was just sort of my to-do list. Um, so I'm going to leave this for now, and I may leave this through the first weeks of school because a who knows what the first weeks of school is going to look like. Even um, we may be home, we may be in school. Who knows? Uh, and then once I figure out how my preps are going to work out, um, then I will do that because first period I have a regular science class, but this eighth period I have an AP class. So who knows? I'll figure that one out later. So I think I've set this up about as much as I'm going to at this point. Um, this week is the teacher in-service week, and I'm not sure how that's going to look like. It looks like most of this is going to be virtual, but I do need to get into my room at some point. So, <laughs> as, as always, with COVID, who knows what's going to happen. I did end up printing my stickers out for the column headings. I decided to group my classes by what class they were instead of what order I would see them during the day so that that first period is a shorter class and eighth period is a shorter class but they're my AP environmental science that my two classes are together so when I'm looking at what I'm doing they'll be beside each other and this is it um, fully planned out for the first week of school we'll see if that plan holds so that's how I use uh, transparent address labels to label the columns in my teacher planner. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. To all my teachers, friends out there, I hope you have a fabulous year and I hope you stay safe and healthy. And everyone else, don't be afraid to take a left. Bye. Mm -hmm.